All right, guys, we're back to Action Brains. Um, in this video, I'll go ahead and add um, leveling up feature uh, for the humans. So um, in the game, when, um, actually, let's go ahead and take a look. If you are in the game, whoa, what happened here? Did I restart the server? All right, so for some reason it says experience is full. Uh, it shouldn't be. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, I'll go ahead and set the initial value of the experience for the survivor. Um, it's set as 100, but it's supposed to start from zero. Okay. And what's going to happen is first level up. So when the unit's attribute, which is the experience, becomes full, um, we're gonna set the experience or the level one higher, and the experience, uh, the maximum value of the experience is gonna be, um, okay, so it's gonna be level multiplied by 100. So if it's level one, then it's gonna be 100, level two, 200, three, 300, and so on, um, because initially the max value for experience is 100, right? Yes, it is 100. So yeah, so we're gonna do that. And what else happens when we level up? Um, our HP of the unit will go up a bit, a bit higher, uh, the maximum value that is. And experience is going to reset to zero. We're gonna let the um, we're gonna let the the unit or the player know that their unit has leveled up. Um, show center large. Okay, so that's just the message showing. Uh, that the unit has leveled up. You know, I think it might actually be better if I um, if I had a float if I used a floating um, floating message or is it fade fading text? Yeah, fading text. It should it should really say floating fading text. But anyways, fading text of um, the triggering unit, um, and it's going to say level up. Yeah, we'll just do that. Text and forget about this. Forget about that. Forget about this. Okay, good. So this is how level up should work. It should work in the game now. Uh, what? Have... Okay. Cool. Um, and another thing I wanted to add is a machine gun. I'll add that in a bit. Yeah, we'll add that in the next round. Um, hmm. Uh, but there's another thing that I want to do too, which... Um, da, 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 da. So here's the thing, right? If unit levels up and if the unit dies and then we're starting over, um, if the unit was like level level five, um, if the unit dies, it's going to start over again from level one again. Uh, at least for the unit stats, it's going to lose all of the, the max HP and all that stuff. So I need to change this. The max value of the HP. Um, I need to change this so that it takes me out 1.1, but we're going to do multiply by uh, one plus um one plus uh how's it gonna work um one plus we'll do another math where we are doing 0.2 multiplied by the level of the owner their attribute level of the the owner player owner of a unit of the triggering unit. Yeah, okay, so we're gonna do this. Um, so it, this is how it reads, right? So if the unit levels up, we're gonna change the HP. Um, oh no, oh no, I have to start over. <laughs> this is not good. Um, Cause I don't wanna include the, the existing value. Cause that otherwise, that means it's become, it's gonna be like incremental. 
and I don't want to do that. I want to set it. So, okay, so normally the HP I think was like, was it like 100? Let's say it was 100, right? So let's see, set it as 100. It's going to be 100 plus, um, 100 plus, uh, what's it going to be? Let's say 20. So it's, we're going to have a 20 extra HP for each level. So 20 times by, um, and this is going to be level of owner of the unit, uh, owner of the triggering unit. Okay. So, all right. So we're going to set the maximum value of HP as 100 plus 20 times by level of the, uh, the owner of the triggering unit. Actually, it should be 80, I guess, so that if the units uh, if the player is level one, then we're going to have 100 HP because that's going to be 80 plus 20 times by one. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I think this is good. Yeah, I think this is good. Um, but we need to create a separate script that updates the stats of the unit. So we, this is how it's going to go. Um, so this, we're going to uh, update temp units stats. Of course, thingly to level. Uh, it's kind of too long. Is that gonna fit? Yeah, we can read it. Okay. So what it's going to do is um, I'm going to copy a bunch of functions here. Uh, copy. Where are you? Uh, update, paste, what else is here? Um, sorry, I'm blind. Okay, there, copy, paste, level up. And I think that's all we need to do. And what I'm going to do now is I'm gonna get rid of these and, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to set a, um, a variable called temp unit. Temp unit. So it's just for a temporary purpose. We're gonna set it as the the triggering unit here, and then so this is this is a uh, uh, like a this this is a way for me to um, pass a parameter, pass it as in like a parameter of a function. If you guys are familiar with programming, so we set the triggering unit as a temp unit, and then we're gonna call the script. We're gonna run the script where we're going to uh, update the temp unit's stats according to its level. Um, temp unit. So set triggering unit as temp unit, and then we're going to call this function, where what it's going to do is it's going to set not the triggering unit, but temp unit uh, experience and temp unit's HP. OK. And there's a reason why I'm doing this. Uh, just bear with me for here uh, for a second. With me, okay. update uh, set. To... Okay. I think this is good. Um, so what's gonna happen is when the game resets. Right, so uh, yeah, when the game resets, what it's going to do is it's when when the zombie units um, get uh, changed, when the zombie units, uh, the human zombie players uh, change back into the human the survival uh, survivor units, we want to make sure that their HP is updated. So um, blah blah set the value of HP to maximum value. You know, I like this actually. Oh, I know exactly what I should do. So I need to update the HP value as well. Uh, max value of the experience and HP. Okay, good. So we are gonna go ahead and set the HP value to the max. So when unit levels up, they're also gonna, uh, their HP is also gonna like fill up all the way okay, as well. It's like a little bonus for leveling up. Yeah, so when this function is called, the temp unit's HP is going to be full. 
And when the game resets, what we're going to do is um, we're going to set the selected unit that variable as the temp unit. Temp unit. Selected unit. So we're going to set the selected unit as temp unit and we're going to uh, call a script update uh, units, temp units. Okay, so that's if the player was controlling the king, king mutant, which is turning back to human, we are going to update its HP and experience based on its level. Otherwise, we're going to destroy it. Um, I think that's good. Yeah, that looks fine to me. Yeah, I think we're good. So I guess I'll let the guys know that I'm adding this feature. Hey, guys. Uh, I'll restart. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and restart it. <clears throat> All right, we're in the game. So we're level at one. And our experience is empty. Now, if I'm to uh, move around and let's say um, hit some boxes here and there, hopefully my experience will go up. Yes, it is. Okay, good. Let's see if I level up. So I keep on hitting it. My experience doesn't go up if I'm hitting my own teammates. But yeah, if I'm hitting the box, then my experience goes up. Let's see uh, what happens if I'm hitting level two. My okay, so I just became level two. You saw the floating text saying level up. And my experience, I think it's gone down. Yes, it has. Um, so I think it's working, guys. It's 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 too bad that actually I can't see exactly the what the uh, numbers are for my... Um, uh, what is it, my HP and uh, experience. I guess I can kind of hack this to see. Okay, so max value, huh, still set as uh, 100. Not quite sure how accurate that is. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not 100% sure what's uh, happening here. Oh, don't hit me. I should probably make it so the sledgehammer doesn't hit hit friendly units or push them, I mean. So let's see. Um, when item is used, um, it does a bunch of checks. Okay, so we apply force um, to the units regardless of whether if we're damaging it or not. So if I move this here, so this means uh, the unit that's being hit is actually getting damaged. Uh, we're also going to push them back. So I have fixed that as well. Oh no, zombies. Um, I need to make it, by the way, uh, so that I earn experience from shooting the zombies, or killing the zombies, anyways. Yeah, I totally need to do that. So I'll also work on that. Um, so that happens when... Um, a unit is hit by projectile. Um, yeah, so we are going to last deck is a triggering unit. No, no, okay. Yeah. So when the unit is hit by projectile, what we're going to do is, well, let me show you how the experience is earned by hitting um, targets, which is right here. So. Uh, what we do here when, like, let's say sledgehammer or with fist, if you hit a unit, our experience is um, set uh, going up by eight every time. So I'm going to do the same thing with bullets. So when hit by projectile, we are going to give experience. Excuse me. Uh, we're going to give the experience to um, 
the owner of the source item of projectile, the triggering projectile. Yes, yeah, so the owner that owns, uh, or could we do owner of projectile? Yeah, source unit of projectile, there you go. Um, and that's going to be a triggering projectile. So we're gonna increase the experience of the source unit of the triggering projectile, which is the bullet. Um, owner of the item, nope, owner of source unit, where is it? Source unit of projectile. A triggering projectile. There you go. So now every time we hit a uh, zombie with our bullet, then we're gonna earn experience from that as well. Okay, so that works. And uh, here's another thing that I need to be testing, which uh, uh, I want to see what happens if if um, right right now I have level two. If the game was to restart. Am I going to have level two or not? So we can test that very soon because the, the round's about to be over in 20 seconds. This guy's like killing it. Oh, he killed me. He's actually really good. And he's setting up the wall. Oh my goodness. Look at him. He's so good. Oh, okay. Come here, zombie. Help me out here. Oh, but he ended up winning. Wow, he's actually really good at this game. Okay, so yeah, let's see if, um, if I'm going to maintain um, being level 2. Um, what I'm also going to do is I am going to make it so we can read the, the value of the experience and the HP. Uh, body types, HP, there you go. Yeah, so we can see the value as well. I think that's better. Okay. So yes, I'm still level two. Um, experience has gone down to zero, uh, which I think is okay. Um, all right. So anyways, guys, that's uh, a bit of an introductory uh, tutorial for uh, um, how experience and leveling up works typically in the games. Uh, I hope that helped. Uh, and uh, in my next tutorial, I, I'll work on uh, a few other items like the uh, grenade or rifle. Thanks for watching.